this is our first time on the balcony. This is called the Grand Circle, I believe. Um, last time we were down there. Um, I think the view is pretty good. You'll see the other videos and you'll understand what I'm saying. And the aircon is perfect. <laughs> and we're excited. So as we said earlier, this was actually our second time watching Hamilton. The first time was back in March when I won the lottery, which is basically a daily draw that you can enter through the Hamilton app or their website. You can enter every day for free for a chance to win two £10 tickets to the show. I think I probably started entering in late January, so it took about three months until I won. But that said, Rafaela has been entering for as long as I have and she hasn't won yet, so I feel like this is also a case of pure luck. So first, I'll talk about the obvious which is the seats. So I'll compare the experience from the stalls, which is the seats on the ground floor of the theater, to the Grand Circle, which is where we were seated this time, and that is the second balcony on the very top. In March, our stall seats were in row C, on the far left corner. Even though we were at the very front of the theater, the seats weren't uncomfortable in the sense that you didn't have to look up at the stage so much. But of course, that being said, they were very much to the side, which restricted the view considerably. We would miss the action on the staircase that was on the left corner, but other than that, it was an incredible opportunity to really see details of the performance, like taking the costumes and props, as well as the expressions of the actors. This time round, it was a lot more about appreciating the production as a whole and the staging of it. Our seats on the Grand Circle, that cost us about £50 each, were in the middle of row F, so I suppose we were quite far from the stage. Yet with the actors being such incredible performers, they were all definitely able to project to the very back of the room, so I didn't feel like I was missing anything. Now, moving on to my favorite thing to compare when I watch the same show more than once, the cast. This is a show that's got so many words and some really tricky quick raps, that can trip up the most seasoned performers. The first time we watched was on a Monday, which I believe is a day when Ash Hunter, the alternate Hamilton, performs every week. It was still his first few shows, but he killed it nonetheless. This time, of course, I was really hoping to see Jamal Westman. This guy whose first job straight out of college is basically the role of a lifetime. I really wanted this badly because the cast performance at the Olivia Awards left a lot to be desired, since they only performed Alexander Hamilton, a song in which the protagonist only appears briefly and sings even less. So really, I was just curious to see what all the fuss was about. And he really did not disappoint. I think he brought a warmth to the character and he wasn't afraid to play up to the comic relief moments that the material set up and even create his own. I really enjoyed his performance a lot. And that being said, everyone in the cast really earned their spot in the show and they were all incredible actors, dancers and singers. So just a huge shout out to all my favorites from the show, Giles Terrera, Rachel Ann Goh, Rachel John, Christina Yado, Michael Gibson, Cliff September, Taryn Callender, Jason Pennycook, Abby, Sifiso, Waylon, Miriam, Leslie, Kelly, and Leah. Thank you all so much for making another Hamilton performance feel so special and amazing, and I hope we'll see you again soon. First impressions. Very good. It was great.